time is a terrible resource to waste. This is the most valuable resource in a project. Every delivery that you are supposed to make is time bound. Therefore, without proper time management, a project can head towards a disaster. When it comes to project time management, it is not just the time of the project manager, but it is the time management of the project team. Scheduling is the easiest way of managing project time. In this approach, the activities of the project are estimated and the durations are determined based on the resource utilization for each activity. In addition to the estimate and resource allocation, cost always plays a vital role in time management. This is due to the fact that schedule overruns are quite expensive. The process of establishing the policies, procedures, and documentation for planning, developing, managing, executing, and controlling the project schedule is called plan schedule management. The key benefit of this process is that it provides guidance and direction on how the project schedule will be managed throughout the project. Keeping this in mind, there are four steps to help with project time management. First, you need to define the activities. This step requires you to define the tasks, milestones, and other activities needed to complete the project. Start with a basic definition of each task and fill in the details as the project gets fleshed out. A Gantt chart is a simple and quick way to outline the entire project. Use the Gantt chart to add tasks and their estimated time frames. Don't worry about dates at this point, but rather focus on the time it will take to complete each individual task. Once the activities have been defined, you can start putting the activities in order. Without worrying about dates, order the activities in a way that makes the most sense to you. Create subtasks as needed and organize the project in a logical manner. This is sequencing the activities. Once you have the activities in order, add dependencies to each task. Using dependencies, rather than dates, will help you see the true timeline of the project. For example, if you are building a website, you will need to design the website before you can start developing it. The design activity is a prerequisite to the development activity. If the design activity is completed later than expected, the development activity will also be pushed out to a later date. Estimating activity resources is one of the more challenging steps because it requires you to assess the supply and demand of each resource or person and how it relates to your specific project. Do you have enough resources to complete the assignment as scheduled or do you need additional resources? If you used a Gantt chart to create the project timeline, it should be fairly easy to develop a project schedule. Review the Gantt chart with the entire team and make sure you have complete buy-in before you start the project. Everybody should understand their role in the project and should be able to confidently commit to the timeline. Controlling the schedule is a lot harder than planning the schedule and requires more one-on-one -on -one management than you might expect. The project manager should be carefully monitoring the status of the project and verify that the activities are being completed on time and within scope. So that concludes project time management, and is prepared by Micah and Alvin. Created using Powtoon.